We'll start with the same empty application here, single view application that has nothing in it right now. In my storyboard, just like before, I'm going to head over to editor and I'm going to embed this view controller in a navigation controller. And just like before, I'm going to add a standard view controller to the storyboard. With it selected, I'm going to go over to the size inspector and I'll switch the simulated size to freeform and make it 300 by 300. I'll also add that bar button item up here. And in the attributes inspector, I'm going to change this to the action button. There we go. With storyboards, you can literally just drag from a button, control drag, onto another view controller and bring up a segue. And in this case, we can bring up a popover segue. So this works just like a push segue or a modal segue. It'll just be a popover segue. And the storyboard takes care of everything. It creates the popover controller in the background and deals with everything. The only thing that the storyboard cannot do is to give us a reference to the actual popover controller, which is a bit of a shame because I haven't got an object that I can drag in and there's no visual representation of the popover controller that I can grab a reference to. So we have to be a little bit creative and code there in a moment. Just like with any other segue, you can click on the segue and give the segue an identifier. It's not necessary here. I'll, I will do it so that I can show you in code to test which segue has been initiated. I'll just call it popover segue. And here are the directions that you would normally give the popover controller in code, so you can do that in the storyboard here. And we'll do the date picker thing right away. Drag a label on and say pick a date and grab a date picker, make it just about fit in here. Just say date. And we'll leave the background color on white now. Let's be boring. We're going to grab another date picker and put it in our main view controller here. And we'll go into the assistant editor and grab a reference to that main date picker and here's the action button one is a property and another one is an action so that we can react to the button press here okay just like before we need a custom class for our little popover controller here notice that earlier i gave this a storyboard id i don't need to do that anymore because now i can grab that reference from the segue but I still need a custom class for it so that I can grab the date picker out of it. So Command N will bring up the new file dialog. We'll create an Objective C class, and it's going to be called the Date View Controller. Standard View Controller. And we're selecting this here, and under the Identity Inspector, we're going to give it that custom class, Date View Controller. Now I'll select the date picker here in our little popover. I'm not going to make the same mistake I made earlier. I'm going to pick the header file here straight away. And then I'm going to create a reference to that date picker. Just call it date picker. And now it's public right away. That's all we need. Let's go back into our main view controller's implementation file. So how do we grab a reference to the popover controller if it's being presented with a storyboard? Well, if this was a navigation controller and we'd want to grab a reference to what happens to the view controller that's being pushed, we would implement a method called prepare for segue. And it's exactly what we're going to do right now because it is the segue that will give us the reference to the popover controller. So we need to add this method and this is 
added by default in some view controllers, especially if you're dealing with table views, and there's usually the prepare for segue method is already commented out in there somehow. Because this was a single view application, this was not included in the template. And in order to hold on to that popover controller, we go back here to the top and create another property. Just like before, UI popover controller, we're going to call it popover. In the prepare for segue method, let's see what we want to do. We want to grab a reference to the popover controller while it's being brought up. And once it's done that, we can then implement our popover controller delegate and then react to what's happened when it's dismissed. So how do we do that? Well, self popover. And this is a bit of a weird method of doing it. This is, in fact, this is a method. This is not dot notation that we can replace in a moment. So first of all, we're going to typecast a UI storyboard popover segue to the segue that is being passed in this method here. We know it's a popover segue. It's not a standard segue. So hence, we need to typecast this. And from it, we can grab the popover controller. And that's really all we need to do here. We don't need to give the popover anything to work with because in this case, we don't need it. We just want the user to pick the date. If you wanted to display any data in the popover, this is the place to do it. You could give that date view over and give it a date, for example. We're not going to do that here. But yeah, this is the place where you do that. The next thing we want to do is uh, obviously conform to the UI popover controller delegate protocol. And I suppose that is one thing we can do here. We'll tell the popover delegate that it's us. And just like before, here's how we react to it. Popover controller did dismiss, grab the date view controller, grab the date, and populate the UI. Since we're using a custom class, we need to import it up here. And grab a reference from the popover controller that we're passed in from this method here. Content view controller. Just like before, I think we needed to typecast this as well. And I will grab the date. from the date picker. And populate the UI is probably the easiest one. We'll just have the, our main date picker's date is equal to the date. We've set the delegate. We're grabbing the date. This should all work. Let's see if it does. Certainly brings up the correct date picker here. February 2034. I like it. And there we go, it works. I suppose what I didn't do here, just for completion, is that the main date picker, I thought I had set this so that it's only displaying the date, but I guess I didn't. Let's try this again. Yes, there we go. Nice. Works as expected. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can pick an image from the camera roll and display those images in the popover here, and then select an image and display it in your main view controller. Stay tuned for that.